Hello friends, you all are welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. Today we are going to talk about ultrasonication in food processing. First, let's see what is ultrasounds. Ultrasound waves are high frequency sound waves that have a frequency greater than 20,000 Hz, which is beyond the range of human hearing. Ultrasound produces cavitation in liquids, pressure variation in gas media, and liquid movement in solid media, respectively. It can be viewed as a form of high frequency vibration that generates fluid mixing and shear forces on a micro scale. Ultrasound as an non-thermal food processing technology is applied to bring positive effects in food processing such as food preservation, improvement on mass transfer, the assistance of thermal treatments, the alteration of texture and food analysis. Now let's see what is ultrasonication. Ultrasonication is a technique that involves the use of high-frequency sound waves to generate mechanical vibrations in a liquid medium. These vibrations create high-intensity pressure waves that can cause various physical and chemical changes in the medium which can be beneficial in food processing. Ultrasound covers almost all the unit operations that food is subjected to, ranging from sorting, grading, and preservation to processing and storage. One of the first applications of ultrasound reported in the literature was to degrade the biological polymer. Later on, the applications of ultrasonic cavitation have increased in popularity such as for the enhancement of chemical reactions, the emulsification of oils, the degradation of chemical and biological pollutants, the inactivation of microorganisms, etc. The application of ultrasound in the food industry is divided into low energy and high energy approaches depending upon the sound power, sound intensity or sound energy density used. In low power high frequency ultrasound, they do not change the physical or chemical properties of the material through which they propagate. These are normally used for analytical applications such as the determination of physiochemical properties of the materials, composition, ripeness, firmness, sugar content, and acidity of fruits and vegetables. In the case of high power low frequency ultrasound, it can alter the physiochemical properties or structure of a material. Today, it can be more effectively used for enzyme inactivation, the enhancement of drying and freezing processes, the extraction of essential oils, the control of crystallization processes, and the degassing of liquid foods. Ultrasound techniques can be used in conjunction with other treatments such as pressure, temperature or pressure and temperature together to increase the overall process efficacy. Ultrasonication is the application of ultrasound itself at raw temperatures to heat sensitive products. When ultrasound is used in combination with heat, it is thermosonication, which inactivates microorganisms more effectively than heat alone. Manosonication is a process in which ultrasound is applied in combination with pressure, which has a higher inactivation efficiency than ultrasound alone at the same temperature. 
Manothermosonication is the combined method of heat, ultrasound and pressure that maximizes the cavitation impulsion in the media and increases the level of inactivation. Ultrasonication can be used for the heat sensible products. However, it requires long treatment time to inactivate stable enzymes and or microorganisms which may cause high energy requirement. During ultrasound application, there may be rise in temperature depending on the ultrasonic power and time of application and needs controls to optimize the process. Thermosonication produces a great effect on inactivation of microorganisms than heat alone. When thermosonication is used for pasteurization or sterilization purpose, lower process temperatures and processing times are required to achieve the same lethality values as with conventional process. Manosonication provides to inactivate enzymes and or microorganisms by combining ultrasound with moderate pressure at low temperatures. Its inactivation efficiency is higher than ultrasound alone at the same temperature. Manothermosonication can inactivate several enzymes at lower temperatures and or in a shorter time than thermal treatments at the same temperatures. Applied temperature and pressure maximizes the cavitation or bubble implosion in the media which increase the level of inactivation. Microorganisms that have high thermal tolerance can be inactivated by manothermosonication. Also, thermoresistant enzymes such as lipoxygenase, peroxidase, and polypenol oxidase and heat label lipases and proteases from pseudomonas can be inactivated by manothermosonication. Ultrasounds can be used in food industry for the microbial inactivation, ultrasonic cutting, ultrasonic drying, ultrasound assisted freezing, ultrasound assisted extraction, ultrasonic forming and deforming, and also for the formation of functional food emulsions. In case of dairy industry, ultrasound treatment is applied in dairy industry for removal of fat from dairy wastewater using enzymes as a catalyst. Also for the improvement in whey ultrafiltration, cutting of cheese blocks, crystallization of ice and lactose, and also for the cleaning of equipment. Further, pasteurization and homogenization, which involve minimum loss of flavor and increased homogeneity and considerable saving in energy, also use ultrasound treatment. In fruits and vegetable industry, ultrasonication is used to maintain both pre- and post-harvest quality attributes in fresh fruits and vegetables and is considered as a substitute for washing of fruits and vegetables in food industry. Also, ultrasound treatment can also be used to recover the nutrient loss occurred during blanching, resulting in achieving the collaborative benefit of both the techniques. Also, ultrasonication cleaners have been efficiently used to produce fruits and vegetables free of contamination and at 40 kHz. It has been applied on strawberry fruits in which decay and infection was considerably reduces along with the quality maintenance. In fish meat and egg industry, ultrasonication can be used to reduce the meat toughness and also for the examination of the composition of fish, poultry, raw and fermented meat products. The advantages of the ultrasonication are minimizing of flavor loss, greater homogeneity, significant energy savings, 
reducing of pathogens at lower temperature, higher product yields, shorter processing times and reduced operating and maintenance cost. However, ultrasound application needs more input of energy which makes industrialists to think over while using this technique and commercial scale. Ultrasound induces physiochemical effects which may be responsible for quality impairment of food products by development of all flavors, alteration in physical properties and degradation of components. You can read this article for more information about the application of high-intensity ultrasound to improve food processing efficiency. So this is the brief overview about the ultrasonication in food processing. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.